Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to show you how to change out the laser head on our 60 watt. Don't forget that you can use our uh, discount code KLR10 on the Monport website. All right, so just like the limit switches, there's nothing wrong with our laser head. We just want to walk you through the process of changing the laser head in case it's necessary. Monport sent us this. It came in a great package, very uh, foam and wrapped in saran wrap so it could not move or get damaged on the way here. So from the looks of things, it's going to be two uh, little bolts on either side. They're Allen's. Um, looks like they're number three. So I'm going to use these. It did not get shipped with an Allen wrench at all, so you will need your own. Um, but yeah, so just these two should release the head. And then we'll figure out what's uh, going on with the laser as well as the auto focusing. And once again, I've said it before, I'll say it again. With how low this is, it's really bothersome. So I'm going to be on my knees or sitting down thinking that we'll uh, probably build a platform to put this on just to uh, alleviate that, you know, biggest of frustrations. Uh, so the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try to figure out exactly where this is at so that it goes in in roughly the same spot. Uh, but after doing all of this, you will need to do a ramp test, make sure it's all aligned like it should be. Um, we probably won't go into that full video in this, but we are going to change this out and make sure that it runs. All right. Okay, so both of those pieces look like they're going to need to be separated. Yep, first. So let's figure out exactly what we're looking at here. That's smaller. This should. Let's take a look at this one real quick so we can kind of figure things out. So there's the hole for the air assist. And then this piece looks like it all spins off. Do these come apart as well? Yep. Okay, so with that in mind, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to take off the bottom half and just leave on this part. see if the air assist is no it doesn't look like looks like the air assist is just on top of this piece that's here and the blue is not in the mix so I'm going to loosen the auto assist first and then hopefully we can untwist uh, the top half from this entire bottom even easier. So we pulled the whole piece out for now. Okay, so I was able to push this down and release the 
piece. So when you pull that apart, uh, you this is your lens, so that needs to stay there. Or make sure to be careful with it because that needs to go in the new piece. Uh, you can also pull off the air assist part, that'll go in the new piece, and we are done with the back side of this, but we will want this. This is for the autofocus, so this will need to go on to the new piece. Is that we are going to need to pull this off because the mirror's in here, so we're gonna need to get this mirror out and put it back in the new one that we got. Okay, so while I've got this fully disassembled, um, I'm gonna go ahead and Q-tip and isopropyl and get the mirrors cleaned um, when I put them into the new one. So as they go into the new one, it'll be nice and clean and won't have any of the scorch marks. This I've already pulled apart and basically all we're looking at is these three springs screws are what holds that on to those and then these other three are actually what adjust the angle so after you get the springs in you can then loosen and tighten these and it will adjust by pushing it in or out and adjust the angle of the mirror and that's how we lined up after we do that so we're going to get these mirrors cleaned up all right so some isopropyl alcohol we're going to get the mirrors cleaned as we get them installed back into this so we'll be right back with it uh, fully assembled it's really not that hard it's the three screws we'll have the main piece on and then we'll start putting it back together in a similar fashion as how we pulled it apart all right we're going to just screw this back together a little bit hard you just have to push it in a bit and don't tighten them too much because like i said uh, you need these to be able to adjust in and out and that is just pulling and pushing on the spring All right now that one is back together All right, this is the old one of these just swapping those out Gonna Go ahead and put that back in there into the new one which I've got the mirrors in All Right that piece is good now we've got the old and new of these so Pulling out the lens, getting it in that one, and then popping that off. Looks like maybe a 12 on the wrench. So that comes off, put it on the new one, swap out the lens. Okay, I was right, that is a 12. However, it's so small that I couldn't get our actual wrench around it, so we ended up having to turn the whole thing uh, with just a set of pliers, did that. So that'll go on to the new one, and lens first. See if we can get this to come out. All right, I was able to get it out. And here it is. And it does have this little white spacer or protector. And then, so one of the things you need to notice is that these are gonna be different shaped. One side's flat, one side's curved. You need to make sure that it's correct when it goes in. So the flat side goes down the curved side is up. And that's very, very hard to see, but I'm going to leave it the way that I pulled it out so that we can put it back in correctly. Now I'm gonna take the time that we have it out, I'm gonna clean it. This is the bottom part, so I'll clean that first and then we will put that back in. Clean the top and then put the cover back on. There's the new one and there's the flat side down going to use the q-tip to help get that in and clean the top real quick and spacer and then this little piece goes in to secure it all together and no need to really torque that down it 
Doesn't need to be too tight, just make sure that it's snug. It's gonna have to go on before we can put the base back on. I'm just kind of hand tightening that so that it, it will be in place. somewhat like this the air assist or the laser in the back and then autofocus on the side and we will Before I go and put that on, I'm going to put this back on. And this is for the air, so it doesn't need to be uber, uber tight. But tight enough and in place, point it up, and now we can put... There's a good reason I didn't do that yet. All right, so make sure that the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist that down so that I can get that tightened back up. I can start twisting everything around where it was. Back up. All right, so now we've got it roughly where we want those. We can start putting all the attachments back on and get it back in the laser. All right, I'm getting this just as close as I can, looking at the old one to try to get the heights the same. There's a decent chance they won't be, but that we'll have to figure out and get lined up exactly with uh, doing just some testing. We're going to start with, like I said, the laser. It looks like we were missing just one of the hardware pieces. Got that in now. You can kind of see where the hole was before, where it was pushed up against it. We're going to go with the same thing. Trying our best to get it in roughly the same spot and then we will aim it later. Go ahead, just get it back up on the gantry. pin is going to be a hard one to tighten so I'm going to move the gantry up so that I can reach around to that now that's going to be the main part that we need to make sure and get it the right height because that's what is going to tell us where the distance is now this we can adjust by running it and using the spacer that the laser came with because that's how far the focus is supposed to be and then adjusting it accordingly or 
we can run a ramp test and set it uh, where the best place after the ramp test is. But everything is now back assembled. And we're gonna need to turn it on, make sure that it works, make sure that the laser is lined up. All right, got it plugged in. Uh, so I'm gonna make sure everything runs, everything works, the laser fires, all that stuff. So I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna make sure it auto focuses first. And then we'll make sure that the laser pulse is close to where it should be. So let's see what it does. Great, everything good so far, homing. We didn't mess with anything on that, so it shouldn't have been a problem. Now, gonna run the autofocus. tell you that looks like it's uh, too close. Let's see as far as measure goes definitely too close. All right I'm gonna close it real quick we're gonna make sure that it just pulses. Let's see what that looks like. Hard to tell because the laser is there but hey that's great. Laser is actually pointed pretty close. That is close but we know no, we're too high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the pin. And let's see how much lower I think you need it. So it looks like... So, head's completely replaced. Everything's working correctly. However, we're not fully lined up. Now, I'm gonna have to do some research, figure out exactly how far down this actually needs extended. It might be too far, it might just need raised up a little bit and we'll be okay. It might not, but I'll have to look into that and figure out where that's at. And then once I figure that out, we'll fix that and we'll do a ramp test and actually get this thing dialed in like we need it to. But that'll be on another video because we may have to look at laser uh, mirror alignments everywhere. Uh, they should be good, but like I said, we haven't done it at all since we've got the machine, so we will do that in the next video. That is how you replace the laser head, or if you got a new one, it'd be the same thing on um, just you know the two bolts and then getting all the rest of your pieces lined up. The autofocus definitely throws in a different loop as opposed to just lining it up with your gauge. Um, so not too hard at all though. Much, much easier than those uh, limit switches were. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you guys next time.